Hello everybody, this is Matt Cat Spear and this is a I'm here with a video to talk about uh, certain techniques that can help you with the psychonesis and uh, getting your mind ready for um, practice psychonesis and there's certain techniques that I've developed and I've discovered that I'm pretty sure a lot of people may, may, may or may have no, not known but um, there's one technique that I want to show you guys later and this is the one that I think that everybody might know it's the fidget spinner right here this fidget spinner actually helps a lot with allowing me to understand um, how to relax the mind how to get the mind in tune and how to uh, relieve stress and anxiety and forget your worries and that's exactly what second needs is it needs you to become focused this allows you to forget about the obligations of your life and certain things melt away stress and just focus on one thing you know just narrow-mindedly um, one-dimensionally mindlessly focusing on one thing to to get rid of all of your stress and the fidget spinner helps that the, I found out that the, that this fidget spinner is very fun to play with I can't put it down most of the time because it just really helps me I'm pretty sure you guys are already like gotten tired of it tired of this these darn this, this invention now this is a light up one I spin it around, I, I just smack it and spin it and it helps a lot with relieving the focusing on it, watching the motion, allowing it to take you away, relieve the stress, relieve your worries, get your mind focused, clearing the mind, clearing the, this allows you to clear the mind, put all your focus and energy in this, in the motion of the object. And it's not, you know, see, you can pretty see the, it has blue and red lights, but it doesn't show that well. It shows well pretty good here. But um, just let it take you away and just let it relax you. That's what people say, it allows me to relax, man. And it does, it allows me to relax very well, allows me to become focused. And this is something that you want to add to your, your, um, your, um, it's like a pre-exercise before the, ex before practicing psychonesis. You want to relax the mind before actually trying to create an intention to move an object and this helps a lot with uh, strengthening the psychonesis um, focus stage strengthening it and it really helps a lot you know it really helps a lot just watch it the drift they take you away until the last final spins keep on spinning and spinning and spinning it until it's done and you'll get into that state where you're relaxed and ready to do psychonesis and then you follow the tutorials of my video or Trevor 7 or anyone else's this is something that you want to do before doing what we tell you the actual practicing tutorial of doing psychonesis you want to do this relaxing the mind now this is another technique that I came up with and this technique is something that is a um, it, it, it's like a fidget type of technique you utilizing a ball and you're using your two fingers to balance the ball between the two fingers and you just put the ball there and you allow yourself to balance the two fingers together like this and you just keep on going and going and going as long as you can and what it does is that it's like a fidget type of technique and it allows it's more deeper than the fidget spinner because you're you're utilizing your physical body your physical hands with the mind and you're focusing on not dropping the ball and so it's like a type of relaxation focusing type of and so you just kind of focus put a little bit of pressure on it and allowing yourself to just kind of focus on the ball and it's like a fidget type of thing it allows you to get prepared like the fidget spinner to do uh, the proper uh, to do the tutorials to practice the tutorials that we teach you it's like a pre-exercise it gets you warmed up to get the mind ready and focused and relaxed you know, practicing the fidget spinner or this. This is a ping pong ball. You can get one, a smaller ball, for 25 cents at uh, Little Caesars Pizza with the little ping pong game that they have there. For 25 cents, you can get a little ball and you practice doing this. Balancing it first, like this, with a little bit of pressure, and you just move the fingers around, like this. It allows you to focus on not dropping it. And you go as far and long as you can and it gets your mind ready and focused more relaxed you know and it's just like a fidget spinner it gets you prepared it lets your mind focus on one thing 
becomes more lower in energy and allows you to become more um, in, uh, more patient, more focused on performance psychokinesis. It allows you to activate those delta brain waves, which is very important. Um, in order to delta brain waves, you have to be almost basically asleep. But if you can do these two practice, these two things, you could perform. You could um, activate the delta brain waves because delta brain waves is the activator of psychokinesis. It's your spiritual hand moving the object. Psychokinesis is within meditation, and psychokinesis is within um, um, the death. Like I said, it's the it's the last gasp of air. Scientists have found out that the last thing that your brain does is give off a last sharp spike of delta brainwave activity. That's the last thing that you that your brain goes through before you're finally dead and your spirit leaves the body. And so if that's not spiritually connected, I don't know what it is. The delta brainwave is the death wave. That's what they call it. It's a spiritual wave. It's the it's the last thing that's finally connected. That's the the body ripping away, the spirit ripping away from the body. The delta brainwave is very important, and to do that, you have to relax the mind before performing the tutorials, before practicing what we tell you on our tutorials from Trevor Seven and I. Relax the mind, practicing the fifth spinner or rolling the ball on the fingers, like I showed you, like this, and um, that helps a lot. That that this is like my personal technique that I came up with that works. And so, you know, that's the thing that I want to share with you guys. I want to upload videos that have meaning, have purpose. I don't upload videos a lot because I'm busy working and stuff like that. But please take heed of what I'm telling you. This is Mad Cat Sphere, which says, but is. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.